All right, guys, so we have some more. Joyner Lucas, Three Little Pigs, and this is the music video with the lyrics pulled up on the side. I don't know what to expect. Joyner, I don't listen to him that much, but Joyner obviously is a great lyricist, a great artist, a great MC. All of that shit. So I don't know what to expect with obviously Three Little Pigs, the childhood, the child nursery rhyme thing, you know, this little pig went to the market. No, I don't know how he's gonna use that in a song. I'm interested to see how he's gonna like word things and how he's gonna flip this childhood story on its head or something but yeah without further ado let's just go also my last joiner's lucas song didn't get a lot of views but i don't fucking care because i love joiner lucas and now at least someone's gonna watch it let's go hey, you know you're supposed to be asleep right i'm having trouble falling asleep you having trouble falling asleep how about daddy reads you a bedtime story yeah let me read you a bedtime story? Yeah. All right. Well, I got just the perfect bedtime story for you. See this story right here? It's called The Three Little Pigs. So they were three little pigs. They was all grown up, and they were drinking some hot coffee and eating donuts. It was a beautiful sunny day, some real perfect weather, and the pigs was dressed the same because they all worked together, and their job ain't really easy. They work is kind of scary, so they all got water guns. That's their favorite thing to carry, and they'll squirt you more than once if they think it's necessary. But we'll talk about that later. Let's get back to the story. Ooh, the forest ooh was a I like that. Hold on. If they think it's necessary, but we'll talk about that later. Let's get back to the story. No, you know guns. Why the guns? Because it's more family. I, I, wait, hold on, hold on. Let's just restart this verse. Yeah, it's called the three little pigs. So they were three little pigs. They was all grown up, and they were drinking some hot coffee and eating donuts. It was a beautiful grown up donuts. They was all grown up, and they were drinking some hot coffee and eating donuts. It was a beautiful sunny day, some real perfect weather, and the pigs was dressed the same. Cause they all work together, and their job ain't really easy. And they work is kind of scary, so they all got water guns. That's their favorite thing to carry, and they'll squirt you more than once if they think it's necessary. But we'll talk about that later. Let's get back to the story. Deep inside the forest was a family of wolves in a pack. Even though they had sharp teeth and they were black, ain't really mean that they'll attack. That later. Let's get back to the story. Deep inside the forest was a family of wolves in a pack. Even though they had sharp teeth and they were black, ain't really mean that they'll attack. Just means that they were trapped because the color where they fur made some believe that they was bad. Now, I know they wolves in a pack. Even though they had sharp teeth and they were black, ain't really mean that they'll attack. Just means that they were trapped because the color where they fur made some believe that they was bad. Now, okay, okay, oh god, I think I know where this is going. Basically, talking about society, how society treats certain races. You know, if you're black, if you, you know, people have stereotypes for different people. And sometimes, you know, stereotypes can just be a little jab, you know, they don't really think I um, mean that you know st you know if people say oh you yeah, black you probably have a like a fucking gun or this and that but it's just a little jab they don't mean it but some people are probably gonna take it way too far and if they see like a I don't know black person or Asian fucking they're gonna assume the worst they're gonna assume the worst and later let's get back to the story deep inside the forest was a family of wolves in a pack even though they had sharp teeth and they were black ain't really mean that they'll attack just means that they were trapped because the color where they fur made some believe that they was bad hold on was in a pack even though they had sharp teeth and they were black ain't really mean that they'll attack just means that they were trapped because the color where they fur made some believe that they was bad now i know that sounds sad but Ain't nobody care, cause the problem with the wolves is they were never treated fair. And no matter where they go, only 
one thing is clear that as long as you're a wolf, the pig's gonna be scared. So, yeah. in the town was separated. And if the wolves wanted to come around, they hesitated because they knew they wasn't welcome there. So, every time they roam, they always said a prayer in hopes that they could make it home. The night was getting cold, and all the food was running low. And then right here is a picture of some pots on the stove, some empty cabinets, some old bread with the mold. Let me flip the page real quick. Then one of the wolves said they gonna drive up to the store, and so he hopped inside his car. And before he cranked the key, put his seatbelt on and buckled up to be as safe can be. Followed every traffic rule on the way from A to Z, and then he went to. Man, let me let me skip to the good part. So after he bought some groceries, and he was done for. Nah, this this shit's fine. Let me just skip. Let me just fucking entertain you. So we have the I see you fucking falling asleep. I see you getting involved with this. Let me just flip the page and get to that next fucking fun part. And before he cranked the key, put his seatbelt on and buckled up to be a safe. Ooh, I like that. Wait, wait, I'm just noticing that. Obviously, I'm looking at the lyrics, so I can't really focus on the fucking music video at the same time, but that's cool. Look at this. The side of the car. And before he cranked the key, put his seatbelt on. Buckled up to be a safe can be. I like that how how in the book it's actually visualizing it, it, it's not just a picture, it's actually like animated. That's really cool. I don't know if he did that all throughout the video. I'm probably gonna have to watch the video again after this, but yeah, that's cool. Followed every traffic rule on the way from A to Z, and then he went to man, let me let me skip to the good part. So after he bought some groceries and he was done for good Then he put the food inside his trunk as fast as he could Then he started driving perfectly and headed towards the woods Until he seen the pig's car and knew this probably wasn't good no. The pigs on the prowl started speeding up and yelling loud Pull over right now Turn the car off and throw the keys on the ground And step out and get on your knees and don't even make a sound mm. The wolf said, wow how is this allowed? I got my license registration. Why you trying to take me down? And he was real scared because he knew what the pig's about. So he refused to get out and started speeding to his house. Then he pulled up, hopped out, almost fell down, but ran inside the front door. That's when he locked the pigs out. Then the pigs screamed loud. Get about this house now. I'm a huff. I'm a puff. I'm going to blow this house down. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. 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 I, I, okay. Okay. Because in the original story, it was the wolf that went around to the pigs. I didn't know how... I didn't notice this like w like a few minutes ago cuz it was kind of like was kind of like right there but he's basically you know flipping it on its head basically because in the, because in the original story the wolf was the one that was trying to um take the pigs out you know there was there was a big house. I, I forgot about the story. I don't r remember much of that story. But basically the wolf said he was going to huff and puff the house down. Now Joyner basically flipped it where it's the pigs now. It's really interesting. Get out and started speeding to his house. Then he pulled up, hopped out. Almost fell down, but ran inside the front door. That's when he locked the pigs out. Then the pigs screamed loud. Get about this house now. Or I'm a huff. I'm a puff. I'm a blow this house down. <laughs> and now they got the house around it, pointing all their water guns, about to shoot some water rounds. Kicked the door down, and all they heard was water sounds. That's what happens when the pigs fear you. So here's the moral with a story with a clear view. No matter who you with or where you're at or where to, there's always gonna be three little pigs living near you. Ooh. Good night, buddy. Okay. Another another song where uh, totally, of course another song where Joyner just basically shows he's the master of just storytelling one of them you know as I said it's I find it really interesting how he basically just took the three little pig story and just 
flipped it on its head where the pigs are basically the bad guys and not the, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say bad guys because the pigs, obviously they were police, they were trying to do their job, but at the same time, it's just showing how corrupt and just fucked up this society and some cops can be. Yeah, I really liked this. The cadence was cool. I liked it. It was a little just simple cadence, but it was cool. The flow kind of... I used to not really like the flow. I mean, this is what I would really call like kind of an offbeat flow. It's probably like on beat, but I, I don't know. This kind of flow is something that I wouldn't really like like, like a few years ago. But now, I, I, I find it okay. I like it. I like it. It's kind of like that... Like, what rappers were doing, like, the 90s or 80s, but yeah, this was really good. I, I liked this. The lyrics, obviously, were cool, and yeah, as I said, I liked how he flipped the story on its head, but yeah, uh, subscribe, leave a like in the best, share, comment, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, see you later, bye, and that was I'm Kill Knight, we out. Peace. I also just want to say one more thing. I think with that line, no matter who you are, who you're with, where you're at, where to, whatever, there's always going to be three little pigs living near you. I think with that line, join us basically saying, you know, no matter who you're with, what you look like, where you're at, where to, whatever, you're still going to get judged. You're still going to get judged for what you look like, what your intentions are, you know, all of that. But yeah, I'm killing out. We all peace.